What's happening, fellas? Am I the luckiest guy in the world or what? Am I seeing double, double trouble here? Two of the most badass bikes from the 70s. Twins, bookends. Twins, Basil, twins. <laughs> Check these things out. 76 KZ 900s. Both of them are absolutely gorgeous. This one's got 8,370 miles on it. This one right here has 15,147 miles on it. This one, about double the miles of that one. Uh, and I'll go over them individually, what, what's been done to them. The, uh, to start with, the paint job on this one was just professionally done. It was $2,500, $2,500 for the metallic green original factory paint color. And guys, these are not tape stripes. Those are painted pinstripes. That's why it was so expensive. It was professionally painted, um, buffed, sanded, buffed, and clear coated. It's absolutely freaking stunning. This one right here is owned by a good friend and benefactor of the museum, Gerard, who has some of the nicest Kawasaki's I've ever seen, including six-cylinder KZ 1300s, uh, original 73 Z1s, uh, some real low mileage beauties. And he bought this one. He was originally gonna do a frame-up restoration on it, but it was so nice, it didn't really need it. So I'll go over individually all the components that he did in the extensive work order of what's been done to it. Um, Gerard's a connoisseur of fine Kawasaki's and searches all over the country to, to find these beauties this one here is been pr brilliantly preserved just been completely serviced and tuned by jeff castine the manic mechanic he took the carbs off put them in the tank cleaned them tuned them replaced uh, all the gaskets and um jetted it and it, it runs fantastic he set the timing on it uh, has a clean new york title factory owner's manual in the recent service notes it even has the original tool kit which is complete and present Take a look at the exhaust pipes. Those are the original 1976 Kawasaki exhaust pipes. And uh, didn't need a whole lot, but he did put a new UAS battery in it, new spark plugs, new air filter, complete carburetor clean and rebuild, new float bolt gaskets and fuel tees, set the air screws. He also put new carburetor intake rubbers on it, new air box rubber boots, uh, new battery, new fuel pet cock, new fuel lines, and a new ignition was installed. He also put new handlebars on it, uh, new chrome handlebars, OEM replicas, new handlebar mounting hardware, new handlebar switches, uh, new headlight bucket. You can see the chrome on its, uh, on the headlight ring is new also, it's a new chrome ring. New rubber mounting grommets for the speedometer and tachometer. New head stem chrome bolt and washer for the triple clamps. All, you can see all the hardware up here is brand new. It looks freaking beautiful. Like it just came out of the box because it did. Um, new head stem chrome bolt. Uh, headstock bearings were checked and greased. Uh, new Z1 parts mirrors. New front master cylinder rebuild kit. The OEM front brake caliper was sent out to Johnny's Vintage and blasted, powder coated, honed, and completely rebuilt. New brake pads, new brake fluid, and new Bridgestone Battle Axe tires front and rear. Uh, it's got a new Z1 parts front fender, new Z1 parts rear fender and rubber mounting grommets, new rear taillight lens, new side cover mounting grommets, and a new fuel tank rubber mounting strap. strap. So uh, we also sent it through the detail shop here at Kaplan Cycles. It was steam cleaned, hand washed, polished, waxed from top to bottom. Um, it's uh, been in and out of the shop, out of the service shop a couple times, so June, till, till Jeff had the carbs tuned perfectly, and uh, it runs like a brand new motorcycle. And take a look at it, it's absolutely stunning. The paint job is second to none. Uh, the original pipes are present. All the original cycle parts are intact. The rims, forks, everything's, oh, getting a little windy. So. Hey, it's, it's a blue moon last night, and then once in a blue moon, are we going to have two pristine KZ 900s like this? Uh, a beautifully preserved, and a, a second beautifully preserved 8,000 mile KZ 900. So, <clears throat> just to compare recent sales at Mecham in Vegas, uh, 2023, one sold for 16.5 like this, uh, one sold for 17.6, and then we had an absolutely pristine low mile example that we sold on the first quarter of 2023, same model as this. So for 19,500 through our shop on eBay auction. So hey, we even we even sold it for more than they saw them at Mecham. I guess I guess the way, the way we do it, people trust us. We've got 100% positive feedback on eBay. You've got 24 high resolution photos. You got a complete video of the bike being ridden, run. I run through all the systems on it. At Mecham, they just run them over the stage. It's a pig and a poke. You don't know what it sounds like. You don't know if it works. You know if there's a problem. You're stuck with it because there's there's no no returns. You know uh, here we we uh, we offer a service and support. And we, I personally bring these bikes to the detail shop. I personally bring them in and out of the service department. I test ride them. 
If there's any issues with it, I'll tell you about it. This one runs beautifully. Um, it rides like a brand new Cadillac. It close your eyes and you'll think you went on a time machine back to 76. But like I said, Gerard is a connoisseur of fine Kawasaki's. He's got a, a collection of, of, uh, of Cowies here on display in the museum. He wanted to sell a couple of them to raise some money for buying some real estate. And uh, well, this one's up for grabs. So um, I'm sure it's not gonna be around for long. So bid high and bid off. And I don't know if we if I left everything off the list, but we've literally got, we literally got a, a, a two page uh, 12 point uh, written description of everything that's been done on it here so it'll all be in the ebay ad if you have any questions about it give us a call 860-454-7024 if you're a collector you want to ship it overseas no problem junior handles all our exporting here he's a notary public and he's got connections for shipping bikes worldwide anywhere in the u.s no problem and he'll also do your financing for you through freedom road if you want to finance these beauties they're a much better investment in the stock market right now that's for damn sure so if you want to buy both of them give junior a call give you a package deal um they're both stunning. This one here, I'll go over this one in a second. This one has the, all the original cycle parts on it, the original front bender, the original headlight bucket. Everything's original on this one. Um, so good luck bidding on them. They're both beauties. Uh, oh, I gotta do a riding demo, don't I? Of course. I shut my mouth and ride, sorry guys. My daughter Jordan's behind the camera today. She's gonna go for a little ride with me. And uh, these bikes are fantastic two up touring bikes. Super comfy, super quiet. A lot of people would put those big touring fairings on them, which I do not recommend you do. I, I, I hate the way it kills the plastic look, but a lot of them are putting the big vetters on and ride these cross country like a Goldwing, like a high performance Goldwing. Just a mountain of horsepower and torque. Effortless speed. It's a hot September 1st day here. We just had the blue moon last night, which I, I think I, I heard him say once every 37 years or something like that, but uh, this particular blue moon, but it was pretty pretty rare to have that. Pretty rare to have twin 76s ready to go on the same day. So if you're in the market for one, your ship just came in. I'll just do a drive-by so you can see how it looks rolling down the road. And here are the pipes. These are the stock pipes. Back in the 70s, the EPA wasn't quite as uh, strict as they are now, so they have a little more rumble than most new bikes. bike's an absolute joy to ride. One, one of the reasons these set the uh, standard for vintage bike values, we sold the 73 two years ago, a little over two years ago, at auction on eBay for 28.5, and we thought that was a lot of money. One sold last year at Meekum for $52,000. Um, I think that might have been a bit of an anomaly, but uh, bidder's war, but we sold the second 73 last month. It just left yesterday. That one sold for $27,500. So um, they're going up in value. We know this inflation is uh, depreciating the, the, the value of the dollar. And we know that if you buy a new bike today, it's gonna be worth a lot less than five years. This bike we know is gonna be worth a lot more. It's a classic, it's going up in value. And um, they're absolutely bulletproof. They're legendary, reliable performance. This bike's got 15,000 miles on it. These are 150, 200,000 mile motors. They last forever. The gauges are mint. When you sit here, you got all the new chrome bars, the chrome bolts, the fuel tank is, the paint job probably didn't look this good new. I mean, it's a phenomenal paint job. The inside of the tank looks as nice as the outside and it needs nothing. Bid high and bid often, guys. We very rarely, maybe once a year, we get in a KZ this nice and once in a blue moon, we get two this nice. So stay tuned for the other one. Buy them both. They make great bookends. Thanks for watching and God bless America.